Let's see if this is recording. All right, good morning everybody. My name is Joey and this is my YouTube channel, Bertoni Motors. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this is an opportunity to see my channel where I talk about cars and motorcycles and things like that. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about cars and specifically, we're gonna be talking about the Ford Mustang Mach 1. Wow. Um, truth be told, I've never driven a Mustang before, and I feel very, uh, I'm very excited that today is going to be my first day ever driving a Mustang, and the fact that it's going to be in Arizona at, at Radford Raceway uh, is pretty darn cool. Um, in today's video, I'm basically so Ford has sent me out here um, to. We're gonna take the new Mach 1, we're gonna learn about it, you know, become educated on what makes the Mach 1 so interesting and where it like sits in the Mustang family. Um, and then like, we're doing like a track, we're doing like an hour on the track, we're doing like a zero to 100, we're doing it on the drag strip, I believe. A whole bunch of things, putting the Mach 1 through its test. Um, if that sounds pretty cool, which it does, you guys should, uh, should keep watching this video. Um, I'm pretty excited. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in it and the car, but they did give me an SD card, which is somewhere in my pocket. Um, there we go, boom. That they are going to uh, pop into some GoPros that are situated around the, uh, around the Mustang on certain events. So, pretty darn exciting. Uh, like always, I'm a little early, so I'm gonna go get some cup of coffee and then see if I can find anyone I know. I've kind of seen a list of people who are going to be here and let's just say I am the least popular YouTuber, but at least I'm here and I got the invite, which is pretty darn cool. All right, guys, uh, let's, go, let's go get a cup of coffee. Kind of brief update. Um, I don't get to choose which car I get to pick. There's a bunch. There's automatic and manuals. I get to pick which one I want to do there. But color-wise, as you guys know, I have a Ford Bronco in race red, and they have a Mustang in race red, which is pretty cool. But then there's also this yellow. Let's go look at it. It is. It's pretty damn stunning. I don't think I'd ever. Never, I don't know if I'd ever think about buying a car in this yellow, but it's pretty good. Look at it. And like those wheels, so good. There's something about these wheels. I think they're gonna teach us a little more, but there's like a the cutaways and they talk about like performance meets art and all of that. So I'm sure there's a lot more to learn there, but all right, uh, let's go get coffee. Wait, quick show of hands, who's driving? One, two, three, four, five, six. The Shelby GT500 has this feature called line lock that is meant to spin the rear tires to kind of get some warmth into them, right? Basically, it's got a burnout button. It takes a few seconds to find and set it up in the menu once you come to a standstill and get your wheels pointed straight forward. But once you've got that, you've got 15 seconds of being the coolest guy on the block until the car disengages the system and you start to move forward. And you're right here. Hi. What you do is adjust your seat, please. Hi. Okay, sir. Cool. You Thank you. Well, sir.
Okay. Cool. Yep. Got to get on. Unbuckle. Oh. That's gonna be important, I think. Yeah, that'll be probably important. Ah. How was that, man? So much fun. Go ahead on that side. We spent the next hour with the head of the Ford Mustang program, the grandson of Carroll Shelby, and a few of the engineers that helped design and engineer the new Ford Mustang Mach 1. And it was really interesting to hear everyone's perspective on the car and how it came to fruition, right? You would think that it took 10 years for this, you know, quote unquote, budget track Mustang to be approved and built. And you know, this is what we got to drive today. So it's really cool to see their all perspective and their experience with the car. There were a few different Mustangs on display, but I don't know enough about the differences of them all to sound smart in this video. So here are a few that I learned about while I was there. Ice white edition. So this was a throwback to the 1993 triple white Fox body. And it's going to be the first time that this kind of package is going to be available in 28 years. And it's going to be available both on the Mustang and the Mach-E. So that's the first time that they've shared a special edition. So the entire Mustang is covered in this star white metallic with matching mirror caps. The wheels are this aluminum with this painted white pockets. But the coupe de grace here really is these white tail lamps in the rear. Just stunning. Now, this may just look like a bullet, but there's something going on here, right? And it's a sad, it's gonna sound crazy, but Ford is playing around with this idea of like spraying body paint on top of paint protection film. There's a few reasons for this, but the biggest seems that the scratches would cease to exist as the film with a little bit of heat would be able to self heal itself. And then the Shelby Mustang Mach-E concept. So Ford and Shelby built a Mach-E concept with forged carbon, custom-made Recaro seats, and some extremely sticky rubber to keep all the power to the ground. But the biggest thing here is a look at that hood. God, sexy. The rotors and calipers on the GT500 Mustang are absolutely insane. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Oh. As I, fuck, as I pop myself in the face with how light it is. Wait. Wait, I'm gonna do it. Be strong, man. It's so light, though. Yeah. How much is it to replace one of these? Do you have any idea? Thousands. Thousands? What is this, like 20 grand or something just to get like the full wheels? Something like that. Oh my god. Let me pick up this one. Oh. Alright, a little heavier. Still not that bad. No, but yeah, much heavier. Or I'm just really weak. Yes. Can you be hired out? Come to Michigan and work for both of us. We are film guy. That's true. Do you do okay. YouTube? Yeah. Yep, How yep. big's your YouTube? Like 30,000? Is it? Yeah. Let's see, is this recording? This is recording. Okay, so I'm in the parking lot. A lot of fun forwards around here. So the first part of the day was like press, media, stuff like that. And the second part of the day are dealers. Basically, Ford flew in a bunch of dealers um, to experience this. I also got a cool hat. My hair was a pretty, pretty terrible after wearing a helmet for the last few hours. Um, that was a lot of fun. I can't believe that my very first Mustang I ever drove was a GT500 with a zero to 100 back to zero test. Did that like five or six times, so much fun. Then I jumped on the Mach 1, did a, what are we doing, we're at a drag strip, drag strip. Um, then jumped on a track, did a little lead follow, um, got a ride be or drive behind Joanne Lockabelli, Lock Joanne, but it's like at the at thir 1320 chick. Um, I'll throw her handle on there. She's super nice. She works for Ford, but she was like influencer for the morning, working the afternoon. That was pretty cool. And then I got did a bunch of hot laps with actual driving instructors. They are real good. They they were basically going like three times as fast as I was going, so I'm just a really bad driver. But also I couldn't go that way. So I think that's kind of the end of this video. It's been great. You know, I really hope you guys enjoy following along with this. This was a lot of fun for me to come. I really appreciate Ford's invite to come out here. Thank you for everyone who made that happen on the press side. Also, I'm using my new camera and I'm really excited about that. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I think I think it's going to be good. Um, it's tracking my face, which is pretty sick. I can, it has like a fold out. You guys know me, you know I'm a big camera dork. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna go get some tacos with a friend and I'll probably head home and start editing this video. 
So thank you guys for watching so far. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, buy some merch because your boy Joey uh, needs all the money he can because he just quit his job. I don't tell anyone. More, more updates on that. So thank you guys so much. Go out there, ride safe, drive safe. Just be safe. All right, guys. Bye.